All right, so we're going to take a quick look, kind of reminding us the, the key parts about trapezoids and kites that we talked about yesterday. So remember that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral where I have a pair of parallel bases, right? So the red are my bases, right? And then I have the, the two sides that connect them, which are my legs, right? So the blue are my legs. And then I also have the base angles, right? So this is one pair of base angles. And up here, I have my second pair. base angles. So that's just a trapezoid in general, right? I also have isosceles trapezoids, right? So these are um, trapezoids. They still have the parallel bases, right? But what happens is um, the legs, right, are congruent, which then sets up a couple different things, right? means our base angles, each pair is congruent, so those bottom two are congruent. Remember the top two are congruent. So that kind of special angle relationship helps us find missing angle measures. All right, so if I have 60 as that base angle, that means this base angle also has to be 60 because those are congruent. And then I look at, well, how do I find this pair Right. Well, I know, remember we talked about yesterday, because these are parallel and this is kind of that transversal, I have same side interior angles so that these two have to add to 180, meaning that each of the blue angles has to be 120 degrees. Right. And we also talked about one other property of trapezoids where um, the mid segment... Mid segment is the same is equal to half the sum of the bases, right? So remember, look, remember my mid segment is the segment that connects the midpoints of the legs. So in this case, seven x minus four, that segment there is my mid segment. So if we were to think about setting up an equation. Right, 7x minus 4 equals and half, and then I have my two bases, right? That's 6x minus 6, and that 38. So I'm going to add those together and say 6x minus 6 plus 38, and then I work to solve that equation. So first I want to combine like terms on that right side and say, so what is 38 minus 6? So I'd have the rest of it stays the same. 6x plus 32, and then I distribute that one half. Say, so, well, 7x minus 4 equals 3x plus 16. And so now I just keep work to solve, right? So plus 4, plus 4, so 7x equals 3x plus 20. Subtract 3x, subtract 3x. And so I get 4x equals 20 divided by 4, and I have x is equal to 5, right? And remember, if I wanted to find any of those segments, I just have to plug x packs in, and that would get me my length of that segment. The other thing we talked about was kites. So remember, kites have those two pairs of um, congruent sides, right? But none of the opposite sides are congruent. And then their diagonals, right, meet at a right angle. So if I talk about, you know, finding missing angle measures, right, measure of angle one, because I know that's where the two diagonals meet, that has to be 90 degrees. In this case, they're not asking, but just know that because that's 90, that means each one of these, right, I'm going to do a different color so it's easier to see, those are all 90 all the way around, right? So if they were to ask you those bottom sets, 
um, they would be 90. Then I know because 1 is 90 and I have that 35, I can use that to say, well, what is, you know, my third angle? What is the measure of angle 2? So I take 90 and 35 and know that that is going to give me 125 and say, well, what do I have to add to that to get to 180? So in this case, I would want to add um, 55. So the measure of angle 2 has to be 55. And then I know um, kind of, again, that one thing to remember is that each of these you know, kind of smaller triangles that are made. So in this case, the red or the green and the yellow, or even the the red and the blue are going to be congruent triangles, right? Everything that corresponds is going to be the same. So that means that the measure of angle four is also going to be 35 degrees. And the measure of angle three is also going to be the same as measure of angle two at 55 degrees so that should get you kind of through the assignment for today you got um, three questions about trapezoids and then finding some angle measures and some side lengths in a kite <laughs>